Hello, my dear student. Welcome to another edition of your mathematics lesson. Today, we are going to take the second lesson under this main topic, bearing and distance. And what we are going to learn today is the second type of bear, that is the compressed bear. So let's begin. After completing this very lesson, my dear student, you'll be able to take the compressed bear of one point from another. This is what I hope you'll be able to do after completing the very lesson today. So as usually the favorite segment of the lesson that is Mars is fun. Today, my dear student, I'll give you another interesting number. This number is 16. 16 is so amazing, so unique. In fact, I'll tell you what is unique about this very number after completing my lesson today, if you stay with me. To begin the lesson, my dear student, let me also explain the second type of bearing, that is the compressed bearing. How we take this second bearing is what we are going to learn just now. So the compressed bearing uses an acute angle, and that acute angle is now measured from either this line pointing north direction or from the line pointing south direction, and that angle is now measured towards uh, eastern direction or western direction. That is from each of this line pointing north or south uh, the angle is now measured to the right or to the left. To the right or to the left. Let's just take an example. It says example number one, the bearing of CTP from CTQ is this bearing. This is the bearing. Look at the angle in the middle of the two directions, north and east. The angle is 50 degrees. So this bearing is now read 50 degrees north of east or 50 degrees northeast. The question asked is to illustrate the positions of the CTP and the Q. So what we now do, we have the bearing of CTP from CTQ. So it is CTQ that we are going to mark first. So let me draw that to CTQ. Look at it. This is my CTQ with the four major directions, north, east, south, and west. The rule says we now take the bearing from either north or from south, but the bearing here is given. And you can see starting with the line with the direction north, with the direction north, which means this angle is now measured from the north line and it is now towards uh, east. That is right. This is the north line and this is the eastern direction. So the angle will now be measured from this line towards right. So this is the angle. Look at it. This is the angle 50 degrees. So the direction of the P will now be along this line. Let me just draw the line and the position of the P. So this is the CTP. If you are at the CTQ, you want to point the direction of CTP. This is the direction that you are going to point at. Let's take another example. Example number two it says the bearing of the village A from the village B is south 40 degrees west. That is 40 degrees south of west. The question asked is to illustrate the positions of the two villages A and the B. So there also we now mark uh, we now mark the village B because this bearing of A is from the village B. So we have now the village B. So it is the village B that I'm going to mark first. So this is the village B. B look at it. These are the four major cardinal points, and this gives me the position of the village B. And the bearing it says south 40 degree west. So it's starting with the south, then angles 40 degrees towards west. So I'll now start measuring the angle from this line pointing south and towards west 40 degrees. Look at the angle. It is along this line that will now be the direction of the village E. This is the angle. It always starts with either north or south. If it is compressed beer, then it ends with either east or west. So let me just take one more example. Example number three says the bearing of the city B from city E is north 70 degrees west. The question asked is what is the bearing of city E now from city B? If we have the bearing of B from E, what will now be the bearing of uh, the bearing of A from B. This is the question. So let's just mark this position of A and the B because we have the direction of B from A. So let me just mark the position of A first. I have A. I have A. This is my position A with the four major cardinal points. And I'll now try to draw this 
direction of B from E, 70 degree northwest, northwest. So which means the angle is now measured from the line point to north, and it's towards west, towards west. So I'll now turn it like this, measure angle 70 degrees. Let me do that. This is the angle 70 from north line towards west. And the position of B will now be along uh, this line. Look at it. This will now be the position of B from A. So the question asked if uh, somebody is now at uh, B, that is CT. B want to point the direction of A. Where will he point at is, of course, that is a line. But what will now be the exact bearing? That is the value. So what will now do? Go to that uh, CTB and mark the four major cardinal points also. Look at it. I mark the four major cardinal points at the CTB. Of course, this angle is 70 degrees. This line pointing north and this line pointing north, these two lines are parallel. And if you remember, you are playing geometry. This angle 70 together with this very angle, they will be alternate to each other. Let's just mark the two angles. Look at it. This angle will now give me the bearing, and it will now be exactly equal to this angle. Look at the two angles in green. These two angles are alternate. The two angles are alternate, and it is this angle that will give me the bearing of A from the B. So if I can find this angle, I'm done. And this angle, as they are alternate, this also will take this value 70 degrees. So if this is 70 degrees, which means that the bearing using this compass bearing is now like uh, measuring the angle from the line pointing south direction and towards east. So I'll now write the bearing of A from B to be equals to south 70 degree east. Look at it, I'll repeat. This line is the line pointing south. And this gives you the bearing of A from B. This will now be the angle. It's angle 70 degrees towards east. So I'll now write the south 70 degree east. This is how we take a compass bearing. And these are just the basic things that we have to learn before we start the lesson proper. So with this, I have come to the end of this very lesson. So let me just move to the last segment. Mars is fun and give you what is interesting about the number 16. 16 is the only number that can be expressed in index form in two different ways, such that those two different index numbers, one of them, if it is x raised to y, the other one will now be y raised to x, and those x and y are both integers. So what is special here, the base of the first index number serves as the power of the second, and the base of the second index number serves as the power of the first. It is only 16 that this thing could happen. Let me just do it and see. 16 is nothing but 2 raised to 4. And it's also the same thing as 4 raised to 2. You can see the base here is the power here, while the base in the second index number is the power of the first index number. It is only 16 that this thing could happen. We see more of these interesting things in mathematics in our subsequent lessons.